coming now lower, I brought in this little bit of reflection down here. Beautiful, beautiful reflection that we're getting down here. And he is, he's doing the same. He's gonna strip off as well. You would not want to fall down this direction because it's a sheer drop. Um, you don't really want to fall forward either because that's a drop. Good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. Um, yeah, as you can see behind me, it is pitch black and the light is shining on my face. I'm stood next to the van again. Uh, we're just about getting ready to get out. Seeing we, I am out with a bunch of men today. Um, we are in our, or one of my favorite locations, Clinogwin. Um, I organized a bit of a get together. This is part of Anthony's Christmas winning um, workshop. Uh, he decided to pay for the second day and have a weekend and then he wanted me to sort some accommodation out, which I did. And in the end, we've ended up with a big gaggle of men going up mountains and taking photographs and stuff like that. So if it's something you want to do, you know what to do, give us a shout and we can arrange it or just, you know, let me know if you're interested and I can let your name down for when we do these sort of things. Um, it is silly o'clock in the morning. It's just quarter to four, something like that. Sunrise this time of year, which is sort of end of May, is stupid times. But we're here, we're going to go and have a look. There's not going to be an epic sunrise, but they want to do it anyway. So we're going to head up to Hrinidwal, uh, go around that sort of direction. And uh, some of them have never even been there. Fantastic. I love showing people new places. So we're in a little log cabin. Well, it's not a log cabin, it's a tin cabin. But we're in a little cabin. Um, I'm in the van, just about getting myself ready. And uh, we're going to head off up. So uh, yeah, come along. Let's go around, see what we can find. So we are actually out. We are up on the first bank coming up onto Hlinid. Well, we've got Ogwin down there, Hlin Ogwin. We've got a little bit of color in the sky. It's very pastely. It's gonna get very bright, very, very quick. Uh, Trifan, should get the light hitting Trifan. So Anthony's workshop, who's over that way, you can't see him at the moment. Uh, Anthony has actually got a little YouTube channel of his own. Uh, so I'll put a link down in the description as long as I remember. And then we've got the other guys, the other four guys here. Oh, we've also got, Steve yeah, Hargate. Steve Hargate. Um, he's got a YouTube channel as well, so I'll put his link down there. And um, the other three that are here. So this is it. We're going to start off here. We're going to make our way up. I'm probably going to take them up to the tree. Uh, that's going to be a good walk for first thing this morning. And then we're going back for breakfast. But uh, yeah, first of all, let's get my camera out and get a picture of this soft, pastely colours light need to try and think of something to talk about. I need to make these videos more interactive for people that want to learn stuff. So we're going to talk about a little bit about composition today and how you're setting it up and what to look for. And for me, at the moment, I've got these boulders in front of me. So I'm trying to look in a way that I can use these boulders, uh, set the three of them up. We've got one, two, three, so the rule of thirds and all that. Set these up and uh, have the lake in the background. And like I say, a very simple pastel sky. So we'll get this set up and I'll show you what I've got on the camera tripod's not really high enough i want it to be a little bit higher so i can see a little bit more separation between the rocks but i've got these three little boulders uh, in the foreground i've got trifan then over to the right giving me a nice frame on the right hand side which hopefully the light's going to hit and then we've got this pastely colors over on the left hand side which we're just going to take a bracketed shot at the moment it's on iso 125 which is my lowest, uh, lowest iso and i'm at f8 to give me a little bit of depth in the image and uh, my two second timers on and that should give me a a separated images with the uh, exposure for the sky which is two under and then the exposure for any dark areas chances are i'll only use one of them but it gives me those chances to use the darker ones if i need to that's what we're looking at we're looking at these three lovely little boulders trifan on the right hand side clinogwin and then this little bit of pastel going on in the background but hopefully the light should come up from this side and hit the side here and just illuminate the image a little bit more So when you're out with your camera and you're looking for composition because that seems to be the biggest thing and hardest thing for people to work on look for something that you like look for a, look for something of interest that that might just catch your eye you know like these rocks that are down here and things like that because that's the sort of stuff that adds to your image you know so pick the things you like and then try and work around it it's ever so difficult to do when you're on your own um which is great which is why coming out on workshops or group meetups and things like that you can always bounce off other people um so yeah it's always a always a good thing to have some feedback from others but yeah find something you like something of interest and then try and make an image around that as we're talking about composition and stuff like that, i thought i'd come over and have a look at these three rocks um so i've got three rocks let's spin you around i've got these three rocks here as well that uh, also work now 
from that side the guys have all gone over that side now so they're looking from that way and i was using these big boulders in front of me and getting trifan in and then link uh, clean down the bottom there so coming over and having a look at this i've just taken a handheld shot because i didn't want to move my tripod um so we've got penny owen this time so i've got the other side of composition so i've got rocks this side lake and then mountain and over this side i had mountain rocks and lake so i've got a different idea but the other things to do as well is move your camera around with wide angle lenses and getting close to things and have a look and see what actually works you see there's a lovely little leading line and it's all about these rocks and the textures and the um the little green patches and the sort of algae on there and then you've got the lake in the background as a bit of a an extra to it um, so by moving around you're getting yourself in a different position you've got like you can come around to the left and you've got these lines sort of going this way pointing in that direction if you come around to the to the right of it the lines sort of point in sort of towards the mountain so by moving around a little bit you get these slightly different angles and i like the wide angle lens because it really does emphasize this foreground and make things work but you can see by the way that you're moving around how these rocks can have a different way of looking at things um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely worth moving around and having a look and seeing what's in the area when you're there. Anthony had walked, walked up, he's headed up towards the lake. So I decided that uh, it was best I moved and come up this way. I got a little bit bored waiting for something to happen. And I'm kind of glad I have. I've actually stood on a little patch of grass that's normally cut off by uh, a little bit of water. And because it's so, so dry at the moment, there's no water going on, but I'm getting a hazy bit of cloud coming over Penny Owen, uh, which is, right behind you and because i can get onto this position i've got this bit of water in front of me that i can look across and normally you cut off of it a little bit um so i'm just going to try something a little bit different and see if i can get a little bit of that just pastely pinks in the sky up there because it's not a lot but having this really lovely patch of water in the foreground which you wouldn't normally get it just looks like a massive massive lake with this wide angle lens so the composition so the composition is uh all about I'll put my ISO back down low because I'm back on the tripod it is, is this is this lovely patch of water and Penny Owen there with his little pastel pinks just going on in the top corner and again I'm just going to get this first shot in the bag before I move and try and get myself set up so getting a shot with this lovely bit of water that looks like a big lake even though it's not and then we've got Penny Owen we've got a little bit of color over in that background with a bit of light trails going on which has got slight pastels just up in this top corner up here so uh, yeah but the actual image itself if you look on the back of the camera how stunning does that look so yeah composition diagonal lines got a diagonal line leading you across the image coming back in with Penny Owen sticking up there and I think I could even probably just drift it around a little bit to the right and put it more over on the rule of third side of things because I think it balances the image a little bit because it was just a bit off weighted from this side there so uh, yeah a cracking little shot talking to myself while I was moving my camera around and I brought my camera down a lot lower and I noticed I got um, the reflection of Penny Irwin in the water as well so I'm going to set up and use this one as well uh, and by getting down lower and the reason I come down low is because I wanted to lift the camera higher because the only clouds that we are getting uh, is actually above Penny Irwin and it's 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 helping the composition by giving a little bit of color in the sky um, it's very bland over to the right hand side but yeah, I think it quite works. And having that little bit of reflection just adds something to the water a bit as well. Um, I tried a polarizer, it just doesn't work. Um, so let me just show you what I'm looking at. Before I was up here, so we're getting the, the water like this and we've got the, the mountain in front of us. And I wasn't quite getting these clouds. So by coming down lower, I brought in this little bit of reflection down here 
and then lifting the camera up higher, I'm getting these little bit of clouds that are just up in this top corner. So I think it works quite nicely. So I've got another one on the go, slightly different to the last one. I just need to adjust my tripod a little bit. Um, I just had a look at the back of the camera if everyone else is see what they were taking as you do getting some inspiration just seeing what they're looking at it's always nice to see other people's ideas and uh, steal them so <laughs> Steve was 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 where pretty much where I am now and he was getting more of a reflection but not just the reflection the reflection seems to sit exactly inside the little triangle of water um, the clouds have, have now started to disappear but I just thought I'd just get another another shot another composition set up with this the water's coming across the image a little bit so it is it is blocking a bit it's not quite so diagonal um, but the reflection is quite nice so uh, definitely worth taking and I know the sky's bland but it is what it is this morning unfortunately we're going to get a very sunny day and very hot um, so yeah that's another one done and now we can uh, think about moving up a little bit further The light's got pretty harsh now, the sun's come up, burnt off all those clouds, um, but we're still out, it's still morning, we're still going to go for a walk, I'm going to take the guys up and around uh, Chlined Wall and I'm going to show them where they, sort of the lone tree is that I shot a few times. But while we're walking along, look at the beautiful, beautiful reflection that we're getting down here. And we've all been taking a few phone shots, I put my camera on the capture clip now so it's handy. Not really my best light for doing photographs, but this reflection is beautiful, so it was well worth a picture. And by moving the camera around and having a look, we found these few rocks in the foreground that are just catching the light. These just add to filling in that little bit of a gap in the bottom where the sky is bright in the reflection, and it does make quite a nice picture looking up uh, towards like Devil's Kitchen with all this beautiful, beautiful mountain scenery behind us. So, uh, yeah, quite a nice, pleasing image. Not the best of conditions, but definitely pretty. a little bit now we've come up off of the lake uh, we've come up around you can see uh, Penny Owen there in the background and we're getting this beautiful beautiful reflection in the bottom and there's a couple of camping people a couple of tents on this little tiny island that I've never seen before which is really cool so everyone's quite concentrating on getting pictures of these tents so I thought I'd do the same thing I come down low got the water in it got a bit of reflection got the tents got a uh, lovely devil's kitchen and everything behind it but I also like this composition as well shooting back because of this lovely sort of diamond reflection and then you get the uh, tents bang slap bang in the middle with a reflection on it so uh, yeah i've managed to get that one shot off um i think we're just going to make our way around now for a walk so i don't know whether i'm going to be doing any more photography but uh, definitely going to enjoy the walk but the midges are out and i'm not enjoying them at all So I don't quite know how, but we've ended up walking along the actual edge, the water's, water's edge, um, and just looking for reflections and things. You can see the reflections behind me are absolutely gorgeous, perfect reflections. What a shame the sky isn't, but then you can't have both, can you? You can't have nice, still, calm conditions and have the atmosphere in the sky, so it doesn't work both ways. So just literally walking along, trying to set up a few interesting compositions and we've got a nice little one I've took one I don't know if it's going to work but there's a nice little reeds just in the bottom filling up the negative space in the bottom of the image uh, so I took a picture of that I think it'd be okay but I won't know until I get back and have a proper look but it's definitely interesting walking along this river's you know the, the lake's edge uh, and Penny out look at the reflection absolutely stunning it's a lovely day but it's just not for me it's just not floating my boat <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's getting a bit warm. Look at them all, all stripping off and getting a full Monty on us. <laughs> Anthony is he's doing the same. He's going to strip off as well. Um, he's just spotted this little waterfall, and it is a little tiny cascade. It's only a little mini one, but it makes a nice little interesting composition leading up to the rocks. And that's where we're going up over the top of that big boulder there and following ourselves down to the tree the other side. We are up on the highest point that we're coming today. Um, well, this morning anyway. Um, I've tired them all out. They're all uh, pretty wackoed. I am as well. It's, it's hot, it's warm, it's humid. There's no wind, there's no air. So it takes a lot of out of you. But the view from up here is 
pretty amazing. It's really cool. I've taken a shot, standard composition, big boulder, bottom left, bottom right hand corner. We've got a bit of a path, as you can see, running down. We've got the path leading down. We've got the beautiful Clinid wall coming across there. Penny Owen in the back. Really nice, stunning, classic biscuit tin shot. The light is not good for an image, um, but again, it's still an image. It's still out and we're still taking photographs. And for these guys that have never been here before, that has got to be looking amazing. Um, really must be but yeah we're going to head down now we're going back down this way so that's the plan we're at our highest point for this morning and uh, yeah all good so far all before breakfast <laughs> We are making our way down the other side now. Like I said, we were, last time I spoke, we were up on the top. We've got a cracking selfie of everybody. Big group selfie job. You've probably seen it in the thumbnail. Um, and it looks really good. Um, we're coming down to these trees now. You may have seen me here before. I've been here a couple of times in the past and, and I've actually videoed it. Um, and if you don't know where they are, you've actually got to walk up a little bit off the, off the main path and come up a bit higher. But you can just see down there in the distance, we've got this little dead tree and we've got this little green tree. So we're going to see if we can set up something and get a bit of a composition on them. And that'll be me ending of the video just there. Um, and it's, it's possible to do. It's not the easiest tree to shoot because the closer you get to it, the harder it is to actually see. Um, it's sort of the rocks sort of take over. Uh, but yeah, it's, and the light's wrong, obviously. But, you know, it's all about how you set the composition up, how you get the image. It's not always about the perfect light. The perfect light comes with being here time and time and time again. I've been here in storms, wind, rain. Uh, snow and all sorts so you just got to keep coming back and when I'm a couple of miles a couple of hours away from here it's not too bad and my phone's just started what my watch is buzzing on my wrist which must mean it's eight o'clock weekend time <laughs> so I am actually in location I'm here I'm at this tree and in to be honest the image is really quite nice I know the sky is quite bright I know the conditions are really bright but it sort of lends itself to it. And right up on the top of Penny Owen up there, we've got these few little white cumulus clouds that are just bobbling around on the top. So they give a little bit of interest in that otherwise very blue sky. Now I've taken one a bit further back from here, a little bit wider. I've got these two rocks that are leading down, but it makes everything in the background look a little bit small. So I've moved a little bit further forward. You would not want to fall down this direction because it's a sheer drop. Um, you don't really want to fall forward either because that's a drop. But with the trees actually side lit, because it's side lit, it's standing out, and then we've got the dead tree in the background. Again, it's side lit and it's white, all the bark and all the, all the dead, le uh, dead leaves, all the dead branches are white, so they're standing out. And I've got it in a position so it's not uh, above the water, it's sort of down a little bit. Um, it's a vertical shot because it's looking all the way down. We've got Penny Owen in the clouds, we've got the, le the leaves on the tree, the, the dead tree in the background, and, and uh, Klinogwin sneaking off in the past, in the distance, sorry. So yeah, it's a vertical shot all day long. Um, I will take a horizontal one, but I'll show you the difference. It really doesn't work the same. actually come down a little bit closer as well I've got right down close to the tree now I know the light's not good but because of this side light is burning its way through these freshly new bright green leaves I actually think that makes a really good shot I've just done a vertical one right up close to it so it's just all about this tree and the mountain in the background so I really like that I think that's really good the other guys are staying up on the path I don't know what's up with them I brought them all the way around here and they're staying on the path but that is really good so I'm gonna have a look and see if it, it works the same the other direction as well and just see if the side light in it makes the tree pop and brings it out from its uh, otherwise hidden background. And actually it does, it looks pretty good, doesn't it, as a tree, but it's the dead tree up here that I wanna try and get to uh, because it is definitely side lit. Not the easiest thing to walk on. Uh, I've gotta go up on these rocks. Um, but I'm just gonna have a look at it and see if it works.
that's it for me. I am done. I've been right down to the tree. Had a little look, got a couple of pretty tasty little compositions. I didn't really explain them because I didn't get the tripod out, I didn't handheld. Um, it's really warm now. It's 20 past eight in the morning and uh, we're absolutely stifling. So we're gonna head back to the little cabin. Gonna have some breakfast, coffee, chill out a little bit and then uh, head off somewhere for late this afternoon and the evening because you can't carry on like this all day, not on long days because it's just way too long this time of year. And I'm absolutely minging at the moment. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. It's all very important to the channel. It does help us move along. And uh, yeah, like I said before at the beginning, if you're interested, if you just want to come out for a photo walk or if you do want a one-to-one -one workshop, you know, please do check out the website and it send me an inquiry and we can talk about uh, where, when, how and what you want and everything, you know, and even if you just want to come out for a day out, you know, this is all available as well. So happy to help and uh, enjoy it myself. So till next time, ciao for now, see you soon and drop us a comment. Let us know if there's anything interesting that you, you got out of this video as well. Tada! God, I'm so warm. So, so warm.